Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to solve a percent problem, and we're going to solve it using the percent equation, which is the percent times the whole equals the part. We can use this equation to help us with percent problems, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we are given and solve for what we are looking for. Let's jump into our example where we have Ava spent $90 at the grocery store. This was 15% of her paycheck. How much was Ava's paycheck? Let's come to the side here and work through this. Our equation, P for the percent times W for the whole equals A for the part. Now we need to identify the different parts of the equation and plug in. Let's start with the percent. Well, 15% is our percent here. And when we plug in the percent, we're going to use the decimal form. That makes the percent easier to work with within the equation. And remember, all we need to do to convert a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. And we can quickly divide by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the left. The decimal comes after a whole number, so for 15%, the decimal goes right here, and we move it once, twice to the left, so we get 0.15, 15 hundredths. So let's plug that in for percent times the whole equals the part. So we need to figure out the whole and the part now. Well, we have $90 here. Is that the whole or the part? Well, Ava spent $90 at the grocery store. This was 15% of her paycheck. $90 is part of Ava's whole paycheck. So that tells us the part is $90. But we do not know the amount of her whole paycheck. So the whole amount is unknown. So we can do 15 hundredths times the whole amount, which is unknown, so we leave our variable of w equals the part, which is 90. Basically, with this equation right here, we're finding 15% of what number equals 90. Now we solve, and we just have a one-step equation here. We need to isolate the variable of w. w is being multiplied by 15 hundredths. So we need the inverse operation, the opposite operation, division, in order to isolate w. So let's divide the left side of the equation by 15 hundredths. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 15 hundredths as well. Now on the left, these cancel each other out. w is now isolated. So we have W equals, and then on the right, we have 90 divided by 15 hundredths. That gives us 600. So the whole equals 600. Now going back to the original question, how much was Ava's paycheck? Well, Ava's paycheck was $600. So there you have it. There's an example of solving a percent problem. Check the description for more examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.